it, we were talking about the coronavirus and we were talking about uh, risk. And you know, the question I had for you as someone who's in the business is, how is it possible that uh, equity markets continue to uh, go up almost more now and the macro risks are greater. Will you not, it's not just the coronavirus. Uh, it's also the fact that you look at gro global growth in general. Uh, you look at the PMIs that came out of Europe as an, as an example. Very negative industrial production numbers even in December before uh, the coronavirus hit. So how is it that you know, equities, the DAX as an example, all-time high? I, I don't understand how that's uh, how how people are doing that and what what's going to happen to to those uh, to those markets uh, when bad things happen. Well, uh, yeah, I scratched my head a bit on that too, but, <laughs> but uh, uh, no, but you know, I, I've seen that before. You know, if you go back to two thousand and seven, uh, and we're involved in all these markets, so we could see it going on. You know, the credit crisis was well underway six months before the market peaked. Uh, you know, so. Uh, it was all there for you to see, and, and the market sort of completely ignored it for a period of time. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting, uh, my observation over time is that uh, markets, you know, when they got momentum, can go a lot higher than you think they're going to go, and they, they tend to ignore uh, facts <laughs> when it suits them. Right. And, and uh, I, you know, we may be in one of those periods right now where if you look back uh, a couple of years from now, you think, what were people thinking about? <laughs> and and uh, uh, you know, because if you look back in 2010 to what was going on at that point, you would have thought, like, why didn't people see that? And, right. uh, uh, so uh, I think there's a bit of a that now, and I think people think it's a blip that it's just you know we're going to look through and it's going to you know everything's going to be fine. And central right. banks have the ability to manage all these things, which you know I think if you look at previous periods before uh, the last ten years, I mean you can see there's lots of period things where the central banks can't manage that. Again, I think it's a bit surprising, but it's 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 not. I've seen that you know it's uh, that pattern I've seen before.